Great job class on the activity. Did you guys have fun? Yeah! All right, I did too. Today we learned two new words, supplier and supply chain. We learned about supply chain. We looked through our flyer to see the seven links that make up the supply chain. We did a really fun activity where we actually were the links in the supply chain. I know we covered a lot, a lot of material to understand, but did everybody have a good time and have a lot of fun? Yeah! All right. JA has been fun, but all the fun kind of stopped after the activity. This wasn't going well. I was just talking and talking and telling the kids everything we covered instead of having them tell me. What I expect? I only ask one question, and they could only say yes or no. No wonder they were bored. Time to change my approach. It's been too good in like this. Hi, I'm Laura Goodman with Junior Achievement USA. Thanks for being a JA volunteer. You probably have a lot of questions about your upcoming volunteer experience, so I hope we answer those questions in this video. Every JA session follows the workshop model instruction. You've made it through the introduction and activity portion of your JA session. Now it's time to do the summary and review. After the excitement of an activity, it's easy to rush through the summary and review so that you stay within the time period or because you think the students must be getting tired. Even though you may feel like you've repeated the learning concepts throughout the session, it's important for both you and the students to reflect on the day's learning goals and outcomes. Students need to connect the learning experience to the real world examples outside the classroom. Help your students make those connections by sharing your own relevant stories and encouraging students to think of examples you haven't discussed yet. Ask open-ended questions that test their knowledge and ask their opinions. Review vocabulary terms and have the students repeat them out loud together as a group. Promote participation from all students and gauge their understanding of the new concepts. This is a great time to ask if there were any questions about today's session or what they enjoyed most about the activity. All right, class, we're almost done with today's session. And as I told you earlier today, this is gonna be my last session with you. Aww. Yeah, I know, I'm very disappointed too. But before we wrap up, let's talk about what we learned in the lesson plan today about supply chains. Somebody in the class helped me with, how would you explain a supply chain to somebody that has never heard of it before? McKenna. A supply chain is how all the stuff needed to make something, like the computer we built, is gathered, bought, and sold from all around the world to make something. That's a great job, McKenna, great answer. Okay, can somebody else in the class think of a product that we haven't talked about yet and walk me through the supply chain for what that product, for what the supply chain looks like for that product? Eli. What about our playground equipment? The soccer goal is a product with lots of parts. I mean, there's a net and a frame. These parts are shipped to the company that builds the goals, then they ship them to the schools that buy them. Great. That's a great example, Eli. So as you guys can see, this is a very complex process, is it not? All right, one last question, and I promise we're done. Can somebody tell me about the interdependence of resource providers, businesses, and consumers? Whoa, we did it. I can't believe how awesome that class was. I was blown away by how engaged they were and how quickly they figured out these complicated concepts. It was such a rewarding opportunity. I mean, I was nervous in the beginning, but now I'm kind of sad it's over. I'm going to miss those students. I feel like I really did make an impact on how they think about business and the cool jobs they can have when they grow up. I hope they enjoyed it as much as I did. I'll definitely sign up for another class, maybe even try high school. I wish Junior Achievement was an hour. It was so fun to have Mr. Dance visit our class. Of course, he was super impressed by our class. We were awesome and really smart. In fact, I need to go work on my business plan now that I know about being an entrepreneur. As you end your last JA session, remember to check with your teacher on whether the post-tests are being distributed and how they're going to be delivered to the local JA area office. You also want to make sure to save some time for handing out 
the JA program certificates. Students of all ages enjoy receiving their certificates. It gives them a sense of accomplishment and allows you to thank the students for participating in junior achievement.